Welcome to the Sinking City. This is going to be like a mini review slash first impressions, but I won't be spoiling any of the storyline in this video. I was given a key to play the game early, and it's not normally a game I would pick up, but the trailer did look pretty cool, so I thought I'd give it a go, and it's certainly interesting. So thank you to Chris for the key. I'm playing this on PC through the Epic Game Store, but it's also available on Xbox One and PS4, and is also set to release later this year on Nintendo Switch. The game is an action adventure mystery horror set during the 1920s and is about a guy named Charles Reed who is a private investigator and a war veteran. You start off at the port of Oakmont looking for clues as to why you're getting visions and straight off the bat you're presented with a case to solve as you're a newcomer and people want to gain your trust. I won't go into too much detail about what happens because it's very important to pay attention to the story. One thing I didn't do, but I was just seeing how the game was and what it was about. But make sure that when you're playing you do pay attention to the story, it's a very story driven game. The ape guy that gives you your first case refuses to let anyone leave the port until the case is solved and you'll have to do a bit of hunting, finding different clues and asking people if they know anything that might help you out in order to solve your case, help the ape guy and then leave the port. The graphics on this game are decent, the map seems fairly big if we take a quick look at the map. You'll see there's a few different areas on there. The only thing that creeped me out so far is the fact that there's like tentacles, pretty much like mini kraken bodies and fish that are left everywhere from the flood. There's a small skill tree that will allow you to set traps quicker, some that will benefit your weapons and some that will also allow you to stay sane for longer than the average human. One thing I've noticed so far is that there's lootable cabinets and things that for some reason you can search over and over again to get different shell casings and things like that. So if you are low on crafting materials I would pay attention to that. It doesn't seem to respawn the materials straight away but going to a different part of the port and then heading back seems to do the trick. Some of the things in this game can be a little bit trippy, there's not really much horror at the beginning, and I'm glad that's the case because I'm one of the biggest scaredy cats there are. Stick me on a horror game and you'll have plenty of entertainment at my expense. Mind you, my heart rate will more than likely jump to nearly 200 until the jump scares become repetitive and I'll laugh at them with you. I managed to see one creature and it full on freaked me out because it has a very dodgy, unique design, but I won't show you the monster itself because I want you to experience the entire game for yourself. So it's literally just little snippets of what's been happening. The mechanics like the climbing and walking around so far can feel a little bit clunky. And you might notice I drop a couple of frames here and there, but that's highly likely because my PC is pretty much just a next-gen potato. The game will release tomorrow for you guys to play, and I'm very interested to know what you think of the game, so leave your thoughts and stuff in the comments. But that's pretty much all I can say without ruining the first part of the game. I hope you enjoy your day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.